Hey folks, I want to tell you all about the Black Wolf Turbo 240 Touring Tents today. They are durable, lightweight, and super easy to pitch. I'll take you for a walkthrough. Let's check them out. Hit it. Ben Fristone is here, folks, down at the Big Four West Beach Holiday Park, right in Adelaide's western suburbs. It's a fully equipped and super easy getaway for you and your family. I've got some space here today to show you some products, and these are the Black Wolf Turbo 240 Touring Tents. They're a super durable and livable tent for both four-wheel drive touring and just general family camping. Now, they all come in two different fabrics. There's the light version, which is on my left here, and the canvas version on my right here. They both pack up to about the same length, but the canvas version is a bit bulkier because the, the fabric is heavier duty. Also means that this guy is a bit heavier at 24 kilos. But what you get out of the canvas is a bit more weather protection and a bit more durability. The light version, however, still get plenty of durability. It's easier to handle because it's lighter and it's also slightly more affordable. Now looking at the fabrics that the tents are made of, starting with the canvas version here, this is a 230 GSM ripstop poly cotton canvas and it's got a 5,000 mil waterhead. The inner of the tent is also a 230 GSM ripstop poly cotton canvas. The doors and, um, and windows inside is actually really tough fiberglass mesh. You're not gonna tear that at all, it feels really tough. And the floor is a 600 denier siliconized polyester with a 10,000 mil waterhead, so plenty of protection there. And the frame is an uh, aluminium. It's a 25 millimeter aluminium tubing throughout. Now the light version of the turbo tents are 150 denier ripstop polyester. And this has got a 2000 mil waterhead. Same fabric used on the inner tents here, also 150 denier polyester. And the mesh here is a fine insect proof mesh. It's, it's finer than what's on the canvas version, but not as durable. Now the floor is a 500 denier Oxford polyester with a 5,000 mil waterhead. And the frame on the light versions is slightly thinner than the canvas versions. It's a 23 millimeter aluminium. All of these components here are also an alloy throughout and a plastic hub at the top there. And looking at the features on the outside of the tent, this awning is a really cool feature of the turbos. This is about two meters wide from wall to wall and it comes out about 1.8 meters from the front of the tent here. Where I'm standing, I'm 185 centimeters, so I've got about two meters of headspace in the middle here. You could probably put, push that up a little bit at that end. And on each side here, it's a little below my head height, so probably about 160 centimeters clearance there. And on the sides of the awning here, you've got all the zips and Velcro you need for all the optional side walls and attachments that you can place on this front awning here to enclose it to create a second room for your tent. Coming around to the side of the tent here, we see the guy ropes here that are in their pockets. Now there's two on each of the four corners of the tent. These all come in their own little zippered pockets, so when you pack it away, you can keep the guy ropes from hanging around and getting caught up while you're folding the tent up. You can see this fly sheet actually doesn't cover the entire side of the tent. It finishes here. That makes it a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller in its pack size, but this fabric in here is also waterproof. So even though this over, only overlaps the side a little bit, it still gives you full weather protection. Now these windows can be set up in one of three ways. Firstly, they can be rolled open, like we've got it here at the moment. We can undo these tabs and roll it completely closed for when the weather is bad. It zips down the side here to keep it in place and a small Velcro tab in the middle at the bottom here, just to hold it all in place. Alternatively, it does have gussets in under here, so there's a second zip that lies underneath. We do that up, and there are eyelets and extra guy ropes you get with your kit, so you can actually peg this out as a protect, weather-protected awning to allow ventilation through your tent and keeping the water and uh, all the rain out. This is mirrored on the other side of the tent, but there's no window at the rear of the tent, only on the sides. It's pretty much all the features on the outside. I want to jump on the inside and show you what's in there now. I'm stepping inside the Turbo 240 tent here. I'll talk about uh, head space. I'm 185 centimeters. So standing near the side of the tent here, my head is just touching the roof. At the center point here, I've probably got about 190 centimeters. And looking at the top here, all of these critical seams are seam sealed. So the tent is reasonably weatherproof without the fly on, but for full weather protection, you should always put the fly on top of the tent. Starting at the top here, we have got a plastic lantern hook, which sits uh, just above this handle here, which is actually a handle for collapsing the tent down. So don't hang anything too heavy on that. Each side of that is a couple of um, roof vents just to allow the warm air to escape up and outside of the tent so you don't get too much condensation overnight. 
Running down the side leading up to this hook are Velcro tabs to secure a power cord, which leads down to a power access point, zippered power and access point on the side here. And at the rear of the tent here, there's a pocket on each side, a small mesh pocket just to keep your accessories at hand. Now with regards to the space inside the tent, and the plans say it's 240 centimeters by 240 centimeters. I measured this and come in just a couple of centimeters less than that, but their, their plans are pretty accurate. I've got a couple of, uh, I've got three air beds, a couple of singles and a double. I've got the double in the canvas version. I'm gonna grab the singles and put them in here, show you how they fit. Now these air beds measure about 190 centimeters in length and about a meter in width. So they fit pretty comfortably with space at the end for some shoes and bags and things and access down the middle here. If you were to put a stretcher in here, it would have to sit in a little bit from the edges because of these sloped sides, but you're probably still gonna fit about 190 to 200 centimeter stretcher inside here. I've got a double high air bed in the canvas uh, tent on the other side here. We'll go and have a look at that. Now this is a double high queen sized air bed here. It's about 200 centimeters in length and about 150 in width. Now it's just touching or just away from the, the side of this end here. A little bit of space at the end here and you've got room down the side for storage of gear and the like. So it's a pretty comfortable two person tent, even though you could fit four people in here, it's really good for two. That is all the features of the popular Turbo 240 tent from Black Wolf. It is an awesome family camping tent, as much as it is an awesome four wheel drive touring tent. And you can grab them online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below, or if you want to see more videos like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel or head here for some more interesting info.